The ribbon cutting ceremony just moments away. And we're here at the Toscano Family Ice Forum, the brand new ice hockey rink for both the men's and women's ice hockey teams. And the two teams are wasting little time breaking in their new arena. The UConn women's ice hockey team takes the ice tomorrow against Merrimack. It'll be their first game in about two weeks. And I caught up with Coach McKenzie to ask about the challenge of dealing with a long hiatus like this. Playing in our new building here, uh, a lot of family and friends and alumni will be coming to visit. I think our players will have a little bit of nerves with that. Uh, I think they'll get over the fact that they haven't played in two weeks pretty quickly. It'll just be, I think, a big crowd for them. They'll be excited for that. And just really in the end when the game starts, it'll be another hockey game that they know how to play. You feel the team is ready after a two-week break? I do. I think they're ready. I think they're excited and uh, really just, um, just taking it all in. The men's team has its own challenge. They take on Northeastern on Saturday, a team they lost to out at Fenway Park last Saturday. Coach Kavanaugh reflected on that loss. I thought we played uh, pretty well at Fenway. It's certainly a different venue to play a hockey game in. Uh, you know, I thought their goalie played really well, and they've been a, a team that we've uh, developed a little bit of a rivalry with over the past couple of years. We were able to beat them in the hockey semis last year, and it just seems we've played them an awful lot. So I know it'll be an exciting game. So the festivities continue throughout this weekend. On Sunday, fans have an opportunity to come to the Toscano Family Ice Forum and see for themselves this new state-of-the-art facility. The venue will be open for people to tour from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday. And as far as tonight's festivities are concerned, while they just got underway, they're playing a commemorative video right now. And the speaking portion of tonight's event will get underway shortly, followed by the actual ribbon cutting ceremony. We'll have more coming up at 10 and 11. Live from stores, Jonah Carp, Fox 61 Sports.